Well guys, it's only the first week of TX2K19 and we are already having horror stories come out. Uh, apparently last night there were some kids that were running from the police uh, and they ended up crashing. Uh, one died on the scene, uh, another one ended up brain dead and I believe he passed away today. I mean honestly, this is absolutely horrible. I mean I'm not too surprised that this happened because of all the immaturity going around. I mean, the everyone knows that there is some big horsepower races out there. Uh, these kids, they were in a Mercedes, I forgot the exact uh, model of the Mercedes. It was a very, it was a supercharged Mercedes, very cool car. Uh, one, the kid who died on the scene, I believe, was 16. Uh, the one who died today was 17. I mean, it's horrible. Um, but basically, how it happened was uh, they were street racing out on the highway. Uh, cops came up from behind them, uh, turned the blues on, and they decided they were going to run. Well, as they were going, they ran through a red light, and I believe that there wasn't a road on the other side of the red light, so they hit a barrier, flipped over the, over the barrier, and landed into the feeder road, and then and their car caught fire. Um, I mean, it's absolutely horrible, and it's not fair to anyone involved. Uh, it's not it's not fair to the driver's family, the passenger's family, the first responders. And if you look at it, what they would have gotten a ticket, and their car would have gotten pounded, and they probably would have spent the night in jail. Um, I mean, it's horrible. I, I mean, I hate hearing things like that because they were so young, and they had the rest of their lives ahead of them. Uh, I mean, even the driver, if he would have survived, he would have felt horrible, and he would have had guilt for the rest of his life. So, guys, it's really not worth. It. If a cop comes up behind you, just pull over. Like I said, worst that'll happen is you get a ticket, your car will be impounded for a few days, and you'll spend the night in jail. And typically that's why I avoid TX2K. Uh, I mean, hey, it's a really cool event and I enjoy seeing all the videos, all the street races and everything, but with how dangerous and all the risks involved, I'm not going to get involved in it. Now, I believe that there are GoFundMes already set up for both the families. Uh, I mean, I personally didn't know either of them, uh, but plenty of my people, plenty of my followers on Instagram do. So I'm going to leave the GoFundMe down in the description below. Uh, I mean, if you want to donate, go ahead. Uh, I mean, I, like I said, it's just a crappy situation, but I really hope that some of y'all can kind of, you know, take something from this. If you get pulled over, if cops come up from behind you, just pull over. No matter how fast you think your car is, you're never going to outrun that radio, and the second that the police get your plate, it's game over. You're, I mean, police will show up at your house and they will arrest you. That is felony evasion. I mean, hey, if they would have gotten caught street, street racing, I believe that's just a misdemeanor, but running from the cops is a felony. So it's just, like I said, just a crappy situation all the way around.